Here are the automation scenarios. So step by step, we will automate. So open Rediff.com website and just go and write the create a new test case. Okay. So test case class. Rediff scenario one. Okay, so take main method, finish it. So next, so I already told yesterday, so you need to write a uh, one reusable method to select an option from drop down, right? So let's keep doing this uh, one by one and we'll say first you first step, you know, right? Launch the Okay, so launch the, so any browser, okay? I will say Chrome browser. So we already know that. Um, so interface, one more time, formula I'm writing. Object reference equal to new class, right? A browser class, basically. So interface, we know already it's a web driver. So driver equal to new Chrome driver. So import this web driver, driver, and Chrome driver. So that's a you no know, first step. So second step, so we want, what is the second step? This is the one. Open the Rediff.com website. Copy the step name, okay? That's all test steps. These are test case steps. So you know already driver.get is the method we need to use. So just take Rediff.com. So just copy the URL, copy the URL. So just mm -hmm. copy that like that. Okay. So then what what we have taken a uh, few more steps. Fetch the current page title, current page absolute URL, current page window ID. So copy this second step, go there and uh, just so fetch one by one. Okay. So I'll uh, that's it, right? So string. So or page title or whatever it is simple you can keep it title equal to driver dot get title if you want just print that current page title is plus so print this URL because you stored right. You can print. You can directly call here. You can avoid this line. Just left part. You can avoid this one. You can directly write in the print statement in this place. That also you can do. 
right? No need uh, again storing in a variable and but uh, so make it a practice uh, the methods return type methods how to call abs url equal to so driver dot get current url so current base absolute url basically it's a address bar url okay what you type now what is there currently that you are going to get it Absolute URL. So ABS URL. So string. Uh, so parent window ID equal to driver dot get window handle. The all the steps. So easily we can write because these methods we repeated so many times. So it should be in your mind by this time, right? Because I hope we repeated uh, three, four times, right? Three, four times we repeated. And uh, current page window ID. Right, that's done. And now, what is the next step? So just observe, just go for the steps. Click, create account link. See, two steps are done. I'm going step by step. So where is this create account link? Go to the website. So this is the one. It's a link. So I can use link. Inspect. I can use link text. Copy. And uh, so what is the, so the, this step itself, the method name is there. See that. What is the method we need to use for this create account link? What is the method we need to use? Click. Click method. So what is the click method syntax? Uh, dot click. Uh, driver dot find element by... Driver dot. Yeah. First, you have to start the object reference. Then find element. Then by yeah. dot link text. So because it's a link, that's why we're using a link text. Create account link. Then method. So the syntax you remember, object reference, first driver means a browser. Browser means page, right? The page, this entire page, okay? In this page, this element. How can I identify this element? With the find element method. See, browser, in the browser, you are finding the element by link text, create account link, dot, you are doing a click action on that element. That's a simple, okay? So what is the next step? Go there. Type the full name in full name edit box. So what is the step? I already told, already told this. Each step, what are the methods? So syntax. Driver dot find element. So by dot you observe. So go to, you click this. Do manual testing also. Then this is the element, right? So what locator you want to use? So input tag name is there. Name. So name. So you have to use this. Uh, starts with I'll use XPath or CSS you want. Which one you want me to write? Which one you want me to write? CSS. Okay. CSS. Let's take a CSS. And so I'm going to write forwards, sorry. So there is no forward slash input tag. So dynamic one I have to use because it's a dynamically changes. So name, I will use star, okay? Star means contains. 
or carrot symbol also you can use. Anyone is fine. So either in, in place of star, you can use carrot symbol also. This is the one. Okay. Any one you can use either carrot symbol or star. Both you can use, but not other ones. So send keys. You need to type, right? So I'm just giving. That's a very simple step. Okay. So what is the next step? Select female radio button. So what is the method we need to use for this? Driver dot find element by mm -hmm. locator dot click. Click. So radio button means click. Remember that. Okay. Radio button means click syntax. Driver dot find element. So I'll use uh, so value attribute. Okay. Value attribute. So I'll write xpath. Okay. Let's write xpath with the value attribute. So I'm going to write xpath driver dot find element by dot xpath. So let's write xpath double forward slash input tag square bracket at the rate value equal to f. That's it. Dot click action. So what is the next step? So let's go to, oops, this is the one, right? Where we want to struggle. Select that day from day drop down. Select the month from month drop down. Select the day. Select the month. Select the year option from drop downs. Right? Select the day. So, all this, right? But I told you we have to write a reusable method for this. So I'm going to write a reusable method. The method name I will give private static. So wide select option method I have to create. So that's what I told you. You need to create a, a reusable method with two parameters. First parameter is by by. The second parameter is string option text. Right, which option you want to select. So, okay, so we took extra brackets. So these are the two methods. So let's copy entire code that I have given to you guys. So duplicate and that entire code copy paste. Web element methods, right? See how I'm going to turn this entire thing into not this one, right? This one. The entire code, just copy paste here in this method inside. So just import whatever the things you can do. I imported, but this one you have to replace with a this parameter name. What is that parameter name? By So now this is also a comment, right? There's a comment list. So Java dot util import. Uh, I don't need to change, and this one I need to change, right? This one option text. This one. 
this is this is the parameter name. That parameter name I need to replace here. That's it. My row, both parameters are given. So I declared and used them in the method body. So this is the what you need to understand how to create the parameterized methods. A very, very crucial step. Now, what is the error? 41 line. We got error for 41 line. So driver, driver variable is not accessible. Why? Can anyone tell this is Java basics, this one also? Why I am not able to access now driver now in, so here are two methods are there, right? Main is a one method, select option is another method. Both are static only. But why this driver I am not able to access here? No, both the methods only, right? Even I will make public for you, no problem. Right, I will clarify now. Still I am not able to access, right? This is a method level permission you are giving, public or private, it doesn't matter. But, so why this driver variable is not accessible here? Java, Java first basics. Swati? Yeah, yes, Ramesh. Not able to get? No, it's a... Hmm. So, so while I am writing code, uh, Ramesh, so here... I saw, I saw your code, I saw your code. Mm -hmm. But here, so there is a Java concept, a basic variable concept is here. Where I have you? given another clue. So this is the local variable. Ah, that's excellent. See, this is the local variable to this method right yes yes then local variable you cannot use in another method right another, right so now what you need to do if you want to exist one variable in multiple methods you have to global. take this variable to global variable so that means you have to declare this variable as oh, a sorry. global, global variable. variable yeah that's what you need to do that's it Done. So now you declared, but you should not put a driver type again here, data type. So you have to remove this data type. Then this driver variable you can use here. Now why I declared as a null initially? Okay, initially you declared null as an object, driver object. Now what will happen? So you can use this driver variable either in this method or here also. See, I can use here also. Sir, now you declared a null, then what will happen? You won't get a null pointer exception? No, we won't get because, so what will happen? First cursor will come to? Main method. Main method. So main method inside first line, driver. the driver value, you are assigning this value. So now null will be replaced with this object address. So now driver is not null after 15th line. 15th line onwards, that, what is the driver value? The Chrome driver object address. So this is the assignment operator. What is the assignment operator will do? All these basics I covered in Java. This uh, value, it's uh, stored in this variable. Ah, this object address will store in this driver variable. Now driver is going to be object reference. So it has a object reference. So it can be in all these cases, the object reference is not a null. If it is a, if you, for example, if you do like this, now it will be only applicable for this and it won't be applicable here. When it comes to here, the driver value will be null only. So then you will get a null pointer exception. So you should not do that. For example, suppose I call this method. So I'll call this method, okay? Now to select a day dropdown value. So I call directly, why I call directly this method inside a main method? This is also static. This is also static. That's the basics you need to catch. One static method in another static method you can call directly in the same file. These are all basics we covered in Java. 
pretty much we covered in Java in methods topic. Whoever not you know, listened on this methods topic, go and listen this methods topic. Every day you listen, no problem. The methods topic. Until you get a 100% confident on methods. Each formula, each point in your mind, you listen every day, one, one hour. You spend time for that. So that will give you a lot of confidence for you in the uh, Selenium web driver. It's easy to write the code if you know Java. Okay, so now see by value I need to pass. What is the by value? I'll take by dot CSS selector. I can give CSS selector value. So what is the CSS selector value? Go and date drop down. This is the date drop down. See, and I can again write. So I'll write a different, different ways, okay? So contains I have to use. I'll use contains. Let's see that. So double for sorry. Say CSS select, right? Select. Select a tag. Drop down means fixed. It's a select tag. You don't need to even think. If you want to confirm, go to HTML and see that. But drop down means it should be a select tag. Select. And the tag name is uh, attribute name is a name. I'll use a star because previously we used carrot symbol, right? Carrot symbol. Now I will use a star. So all formulas I'm applying again. That's it. And a string value, what value you want to select? So string means double quotes. That's another basic concept. String data type means the value how you need to pass. In double quotation marks, you need to pass. That's it. See that? How easy it is. So again, same for month also. See how easy you don't need to write all these 10 lines of code. That's the beauty of uh, methods. Methods will so give you reusability. So reusability it will give you. Okay, so day of month. So you can go and see that it's there. I'm not writing. See, it is here. So next year. So here I need to give a month, right? See how the month variables are there. Expand this select tag and see this is the option tag, close option tag before. What is the value? Is it that value you need to provide? So now I want to select, suppose August. So I just select that, give this. Next. So I want to give a year, I'll just take, so that's it, I'm done. Now let's see what will happen, we are done, almost code is done, okay? But uh, so there are a few steps, right? So maybe if you want to wait some more time, you can use thread.sleep. Thread.sleep is just, you know, your web driver thread will wait how many seconds you specified, 2000, milliseconds that means two seconds it will wait there so add throws declaration so this is the again exception handling is coming here see all java everywhere line first to line end java will be there that's why java you should be very very thorough on the basics at least basics maybe coding we cannot do anything but on the basics you should be very strong now what is the next step? Pending. So go to our scenarios, navigate back to previous space. Let's do this. So I can do that. I can navigate back to previous space. So how can you navigate back to previous space? Driver tab, navigate that back. Excellent. Super. That, that's what I'm expecting everybody, OK? So you have to do like uh, Swati. So that's important. These are very simple. See, here itself, the, the test step itself, we have methods and everything. Just you need to apply a little bit, you know, uh, common sense. That's it. You will get automatically. See, you are from this browser, you are navigating to back. That means previous page. That's very simple. Next. 
you wait there some time okay a little bit time i will give so but you real time you should not use the risk thread dot slip okay so i'm just uh, no still we haven't learned the wait commands right that's why i'm using them so refresh the current page how can you refresh the current page Hmm, driver dot navigate method dot refresh. That's it. Very good. So now I need to navigate to next page. Navigate to next page. How can you navigate to next page? Driver dot navigate dot forward. That's it. Driver dot see navigate method dot forward. So I covered all the navigation methods here itself. So that's another thing. Just give this and close the browser. That's the last step, right? So what is the method you need to call? That's it. So keep doing like that and you can remember automatically. Close. So this will close the current window only. Okay. Now let's see what will happen. So I declared this as a null. And I declared this as a local variable, even though I declared a global variable, but I am not assigning the this value. Please catch here. I am not assigning this value to global variable, but I am assigning to local variable only. That's why when it reaches this step, this line, you will get a null. On the null variable, what you are doing? Calling the Hmm. Element. Calling the method. This is the method, yeah. right? Sorry. Method. So on the null variable, if you call the methods, what will happen? You are accessing some variables or methods. What will happen? On the null variable. Hmm. Exception handling. So we have discussed exception handling concept there. On the null variable, if you try to access any methods or resources, you will get a null pointer exception on this line. So let's see. I want to show that scenario for you. Real scenario. Run this. See, it is going to next space. Female is selected. See, day is not selected. And you got an error here. See, it's done already. See that very clearly showing null point action. How do you know which which method and all this is very clearly given here. See line number 34, first this one. See line number 34. And then go one step up in this method inside which line? So what is this? Line number in the select option method. What is the line number? 55. See, this is the one. The driver is null. That's why you are not so able to execute this code. See, when the exception occurs here, the rest of the code won't execute. That's what the exception handling, right? Then how can you solve this? The main thing is here. You should not put as a local variable. That's a problem. So once you declared a global variable, you are assigning first here. Again, you should not declare it as a local variable. Then there is no use for this, right? So same variable you have to use all the places. So now see it will execute. Code will execute perfect. See that? First name, last name, August. So you selected and closed. Oh, it came back. Refresh. It is going to next space. See, it went to next space. So, something it failed, we have to see why it is failing. Okay. So, let's see what is the reason for failure. So, there are some exceptions, web driver exception, no such execution in context. So, these are all uh, exception in thread main. So line number you have to catch. How to find the line number, all this. So look for your uh, 
your, your code, line number, your class name. This is our class name, main method, line number 47. So we are getting a, okay, forward. I don't know why we are getting forward as a, a web driver exception. You should not get that. So maybe if you're getting like that, what do you need to do? Add a surround with a try catch block. So I don't want to stop there. So let it throw and continue further. So that's the so way you can handle it. So you don't want this much important, but you have to continue till end. So just add try catch block. So you write a web driver exception here. In the exception place, you can write a web driver exception. It's going back, refreshed. Now, see refresh icon, crash icon. That means still refreshing. It did wait two seconds and it is taking more time. That's why that might be the reason. You can increase the so thread dot sleep in the after refresh. It should not take that much time, but it is taking more time to refresh. This time it went fine. <laughs> Maybe some glitch at that time, but it went fine now. Right? No exception thrown also. Try, try block executed and then it executed this one and went to this close method. Okay, so that's the basic concepts we learned here. How to use the driver variable in multiple. What you need to do? In the main method, you declared a driver and assign the value. But you have to declare globally as a static variable so that you can use in all the methods. Right. Are we good? Are any doubts here? So only Swati written, but uh, others, please focus. Now, if you're not writing, you won't get, basically. That's what you need to understand. If you're not trying, no use. Just joining the classes. Try, push yourself, practicing, okay? If you are not practicing, uh, no use at all. Just half an hour, this doesn't take much time. Right? And you can learn the methods also at the same time. Okay. So let's go on. Next one. Okay. Till now we learned. See here, I have covered click method, send case method, click and select. How to select an option from drop down and navigate methods I covered. Close method I covered, get method, get title, get page. So source we didn't use, get current URL, get window handle. See, these methods repeatedly you keep writing. Every test case you write the browser methods. Then you can remember. So there is one method I want to introduce. Okay. After launching the browser, opening the URL, I want to maximize the window. Because it's opening in the minimized mode, right? Maximize the window. So it, anyhow, we are going to get, but I want to give this driver dot manage method dot window method dot maximize. That's it. See all, this is called method chaining. One method after one more method, one more method you're calling, that is called method chaining. So in one of the interviews also, they ask, well, what is method chaining? So method chaining means one method returns this and this method returns this. Like, and the final one is not returning one more method means it's a wide method. Final one, right? It just maximizes this window. So this is the object reference. Okay, so let's see now whether it is maximizing or not. See, maximized, right? That's how you can use driver dot manage method dot window method dot maximize method. So keep writing, then you can remember easily. Right. 
Yes, we're good. We're good. All the you no, know, so you can see all the days are printed in the so the this method we have a you no know, print, right? We are printing up in the for loop. This one. This is the statement printing them. Then once that tenth has come and it clicked on the tenth and it break out entire loop. Same way when it comes to month, August, when it comes, it selected August. See, selected August and break. So the remaining won't print because the loop is going to break there. Then year also, 2015 comes, it will break. So the loop won't uh, no, move back for, again front. So this is the how the code is executing. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, let's join back and we'll discuss on the select class.